Hey, welcome to Fire Pro Wrestling World. I'm your host, George Harris King. We're talking about Chapter 1. This will be Development of LDW, Lion's Den Wrestling. Here we go, guys. Let's keep looking into everything. I've already built the roster, so now here we are with the Fire Promoter, which is DLC on uh, Fire Pro Wrestling World. Uh, start the new promotion custom promotion I guess we can go with LDW there we go one stable they mean oh the, the roster of course oh snap I just realized I gotta um I have to create we'll, we'll go we'll see where we go from here because I'm thinking in terms of okay we have to have two stables because I remember when I did this before I did a new promotion. I tried it out. They wanted to have a babyface stable and then a heel stable. It was like two. So one team versus another team. I don't know. It's weird. But I have a very unique roster going on here. So let's see. Select the. Uh, please excuse the fan in the background or anything else that may be affecting the sound of my voice during this recording. I'm still new to this. So give me a chance. Yeah. Select the difficulty. Um easy because I'm still new to this whole thing it's like the number of participating promotions I'm not ready for something big so we're going with eight promotions to deal with okay this LDW assets 200,000 okay why do I have the lowest <laughs> why I got the lowest about ain't this some crap change the promotion I'm not Latin who shows lat who shows Lucha Libre for it hold up I changed my mind. Cancel. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. LDW. Easy. Yes. Eight promotions. Yes. Don't do the change. Okay, now we're better. Now it's in home territory, America. 632, 36.42. What are you talking about? Promotion status, I'm at total 9. Of course, one player, 8 CP. Computer players, available, 0. Wrestlers, 218. Signed, 78. 140 free agents. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess, okay, so we start. Start far more with current settings, okay. Let's see what we got here. Congrats on establishing your new promotion. All right, let's make the magic happen. We got what it takes to pull ahead of the pack. I just got a text. You can hear it. Um, we got what it takes to pull ahead of the pack. The world is ours for the taking. First, we have to take this. <laughs> First, we have to take this group of nobodies and turn them into somebodies. Let me read the text as I'm reading this. You saw something special when you signed them. Time to develop that potential. Let me read my text here. What's up? Alright. phone doing currently broadcasting all right so back to development now guys let's see first we have to take this group of nobodies and turn them into somebody's you saw something special when you signed them okay I just read that didn't I okay we're all counting on you boss take us to the top because that's from everybody saying it at the same time Fire for Wrestling World. January year one. Management start. Wow. Okay. Welcome to your position as the new CEO. Starting this month, you're calling the shots. Your job is to book events to boost the popularity of your promotion and wrestlers to keep compete on the world stage. Let's start by setting up our first event. Events are the lifeblood of the company. Fans will expect match styles. That match your promotion style. What?
Okay. The rest is up to you. Take us to the top boss. Alright. Um, I'm not going to set up the event yet. I just want to look at what I want to look at. Training center. Oh, we have a gym? Perfect. And it's in good condition. Don't need to expand it. We already have one. Cool. Oh, excuse me. Um, for LDW. Do I want to invest in a shirt, towel, photo collection? I mean, I have any promotion. Of course, just like AEW. Uh, I can start with t-shirts since that's the first option. It's pretty simple. Branded snacks. I mean, we're not trying to... Nah, we're going to just do t-shirts first. What is that? Okay, this is going to cost $10,000 for seaweed production. I already had the wrestlers, so sure. That's a, make revenue in something. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, don't sneeze, don't sneeze. Uh, I almost sneezed. Alright, because I don't want to mess up anybody that's watching this with headphones in. Sneeze inside their ears, that, that would hurt. Alright, it's because that fan. I don't have the sniffles. I don't know what's going on with my nose. Anyways, man, stables. The roster. Ah, uh, don't sneeze. God. Ah. Uh. I might go off the mic for like maybe a minute just to blow my nose. back. That was awful. Ugh. Good. Yeah, I'm glad they got that out of my system. Alright, transfer wrestlers. Let me look at the... What? They took the majority of the roster I had. They didn't take the majority... They took... Yeah, the majority... They took so many people. What? They said you need to have at least six or more wrestlers. Where's the other people that I had? Six or more. Why do I just have six? What am I gonna do with this? Wow. Man. I don't even know what to do now. Damn. That actually just killed my plan. Like, what? <laughs> to book the show. We have a good amount of people that start us off, but. You know, how are you going to have show but no yo? So it's like they want me to start from the bottom and work my way up. It's like these are the people at the top of the list. Okay, we're going to go back to the beginning. Quit. Don't save anything. I'm going to start all over again. Okay. We're only 10 minutes into the recording. I'm already starting all over again. So now i got to redo AEW. That's fine. Um, let's see the teams. So we're gonna have one side be the babies and the other side be the faces. So we can say good and evil to not completely say baby because you know this is right here. So we're gonna say we need. That just made me mad, because now I don't even, I just, I'm still typing baby. Good. That just made me mad. I, like, I gotta start all over again and try to transfer certain people that I want, specifically. And I already have some people in mind, but it's still annoying. Create team. We're gonna go to a stable. So now we're gonna go with bad. Or evil. Now stable is going to be evil. Now it'll be the heels. Create the team. Good, the bad, the evil. Now 
about the good, the bad, the ugly. But whatever, that's a good movie. I saw it recently. Let's see. Transfer wrestlers around. So now... Now we gotta have certain people. Takayama, he can be a heel. Or evil. Good can be Elgin. It can be Beretta. But... This really screws up my plans, man. Damn. Okay, so we gotta take out the majority of the roster. That's a fact. Wait, 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 wait. Before I do it, though, we'll keep Elgin. We'll keep Osprey, Beretta. Let's see. He stays. He stays. He definitely stays. He stays. That's four. So we gotta take out so many people. So that's four. We're going to need two more to start us off. We can keep Ricochet because I want him personally. We can get rid of all these other guys that I had intentions for. Um, yeah, all these people we can get rid of. You can kind of like hear my... Oh wait, say it, or Ad, it's either Adam Page or Ricochet. I for Ricochet. I want him. That's fine. I'm a fan of Adam Page. Ah, another text. Hold on. One moment. Someone argue this is a great roster. So many faces on it. Do I even have, have the Usos? Pentagon. Pentagon. See, I'm also not thinking about this. We gotta have people on both sides. Well, wait. I just... Okay. I hope this works. I'm going to be so mad if this, is, this doesn't work the way I'm thinking of. So we're going to leave Pentagon out for a second because he's good himself. Daniels and Kazarian can get out. Taz can get out. He can get out. If they allow me to have six on both sides that would make me happy if they don't I'm gonna be mad mm. so wait, wait wait we already have Takayama on the other side so I'm gonna have Tessa on the other side that'd be so that'd be three people that I have for heels three people for heels Nick is going to be a baby. So we need to have. And we're going to have six babies and six heels. If that works. Now we need to have three more heels, basically. Who else is going to be a heel? Is my question now. We can have Hangman Page as, as a heel. That can work. So now we have four heels. Abdullah could stay, but I don't know. Let's see. Um, uh, I know I actually didn't have a lot of heels before, as I can see. Sabu can stay as well, but uh, if I got sick Nick Commando, then, you know. There's a, Brian Cage can stay. He can be a heel. Let's see. I hope this works the way I'm thinking. If it doesn't work, I'm going to be so upset. Because then, uh, see, there's an ugly thing in my head saying, you know what, it's not going to work. It's going to be three on both sides, which I really hope doesn't happen. Abdullah Butcher... We can keep him. Uh, he was already like uh, something in my mind off the bat. Alright, so we're going to transfer all these people to the retired. Oh shit. Why is my thing glitching? Alright, we are good. We are good. Alright, so now we're going to transfer the heels over. Adam, Tessa, Abdullah. That's four. Pentagon as well. Transfer them over to the heel category. Six and then six. I hope this works. 
If it doesn't work, then damn. That match is just damn. I can choose certain people, which won't be a problem, but it really will suck, basically. Man, I had so many people part of that roster, but I'm not gonna sit here with the shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's, it's how the game is set up, and that's fine. They want you to start from the bottom, work your way up, and I respect that. Alright, custom promotion, LDW. How's there 10 stables? What are you talking about? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong... <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong one. Alright, LDW, 12 wrestlers, 2 stables. We start off easy. 8 promotions. We're not in Japan. Oh, look at that, I'm learning. Look at that, we're in America. See, this is something I didn't do before. Free? No, no, no. They're not free. There we go. There we go. See, I probably had that option before. That's the messed up part. <sighs> that means I gotta go back and... Because I remember when you do, when you start off this whole thing, they have you, like, when you start off the whole thing, they basically have you, um, you have all these championships, but not a big roster. So it's kind of hard to work with. So this gives me a chance. So I think that's what I got to do. Please select six signed wrestlers. What? Oh my god. What? Damn. So so that is the answer. So it can only be six people. I have to start off with six people. Damn it. Alright. So that means I have to start off with six people. That's fine. What's up? What? Alright, so let's make this choice now. Who will be the start offs? Others oh, gonna be free agents. Um I'm a support I'm i I'm supportive of intergender wrestling. If you boost women, you know, that'd be cool. Make them equal like the men. Um, so that's why I want Tessa on our roster. So for babies we can have Ricochet, Nick. Um I want Elgin. I want Elgin. I want Osprey. Damn it. Man, they have really put me in a rough position here. We're going to need a high flyer. And now I got to think between is it Osprey or Ricochet I want? I choose Ricochet. So we can, like, these guys are free agents. Beretta. Cool. We're gonna need a hardcore guy, we're gonna need a big guy, and we're gonna need a high flyer slash technical wrestler. So that's my choice right there. Cancel return here. We're gonna need a hardcore guy, a really technical wrestler. There's a woman though. Um, you know what? Take this guy out. Take this one out. Takayama. Oh, uh, why wow, we gotta get rid of the legend? It's either Adam Page or Takayama. We got the old one or the new guy. That's a great wrestler himself. And developing and developing and developing. It has experience, it just has never made his big break. Man, I hate this feeling. Like I can't do that much. They really make you start from the bottom up. And I say Pentagon is hardcore and a high flyer. Adam Page, hardcore and a high flyer as well. The technical wrestling there. Te great wrestling. I want a female wrestler. That's another thing. Why she gotta be evil? She has an evil look about her. That's the only reason. So, we're gonna return. 
randomized return. So we are balanced now. Um, I don't know what this even means, honestly. Promotion style strong. Is road. What is King's Road? Showman. Make caution. Deleting a parts participating wrestler will delete all related fire promoter data. Whatever. Um. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we, we can be showmen. Just to figure something out there. Start. Continue. So now here we are. We restarted. It's been about over 20 minutes into the podcast. Blah, blah, blah. Not podcast. The um, recording. Alright. Lions Den Wrestling slash LDW. January 1st. January is year one. Management start. Here we go. You saw these messages earlier in the broadcast. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. Here we go. Management. Do we have a training center? Yes, we do. No problem. Shirts. Making that purchase. Do it. Do we have to do a thousand? Yes, we do. Okay. Make the thousand shirts. Get that revenue. Shit, make it into, excuse my language, but make it into equity. Uh, that sounds a little ignorant saying that, but whatever. Scouts. I don't need any people right now. Now this is where you can trade. Looks like it. That looks like almost a Rey Mysterio, but it looks like somebody else I've seen though. He looks really cool. The high flyer, of course. MWA. Oh wow, these masks look cool. They might actually get a trade from. Wow, these characters look so cool. They might get a trade. Now the one that caught my attention the most. That guy is cool looking. I want to make. Hold on. I want to make this guy and this guy into a tag team. Red and blue. Typical colors. Like, just tag team one day. But we're not starting out that way. We're not going to start making trades until overtime. Jack Howard, great wrestler. I remember doing that. I used all these people before. I remember I did this before. Isn't that something? Anyways. Manage the stables. No. No. What am I doing? Alright, so now we have six people. Wish it was more, but hey. No big deal. Um. Return. Broker contract, what do you mean by that? Negotiation will cost. Yeah, I haven't been in my business classes in a long time, so let's see. Broker, I forgot what broker means. It's like something when you're like someone's trading stock or something like that. It's like trading. Anyways, training expedition. All these people. We're not thinking in these terms yet. Consultation. Who are we consulting? Alright, we'll figure that all out later on. They're probably going to teach us more in the first year. They're going to teach us stuff. So, we're going to go start us slow. This is just me paying attention to this stuff. Oh, well, records and help. Mm mm. What about him? So... Okay. Moving on. Alright, our title belts. Look at that. LDW Heavyweight Championship. Looks nice. Tag title. See what I'm talking about? They have all these championships for us. We don't have a big roster. To even take all these. I guess I tried to at least provide 12 people with a mixture of juniors and heavyweights and tag teams. I, I had a great roster. I wish I could start out with them. No big deal. 
really is not that big of a deal. Although, what I could have done is... What I could have done is had them as free agents and... Let's say free agents, I can't get all of them back. Just work what I can to get the rosters that I want the most. Whatever. We'll think of... Uh, that's, that's a thought later on into this little season, I guess. You really hit your stride, boss. Keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Oh, shut up. We haven't even started yet. Alright. So. We're going to save what we have. New save. Even though I'm not fully happy with it. It's no big deal. So they said to proceed with our first event. Book the event now. Mm, they want a tournament, but run a string of high-rated standard events to make a tournament viable. Well, okay. <laughs> this one. I mean, the whole event is based on. I remember this. Like, it'd be the whole event is based on a specific match type. That's fine. Land my death match is pretty fun. They can at least exit, not exit the ring, but throw them outside the ring. This is like they're trapped in the ring by barbed wire. And it's, it's a little awkward, to, in my opinion. I mean, we're not a hardcore promotion. I want to see the ropes. We're just doing this for fun, I guess. I'm more of a regular match type guy, but just to draw attention for our first show, we'll do hardcore stuff. Determine the event card, save the main events for later in the show. Adjust the venue size, ticket prize, according to the audience forecast. If crafting the fight card is too much work, leave it to the magic button. Select random entry to automatically fill all open slots. Um, small hall. So the expenses is fifteen thousand. We've already we're already spending seventeen thousand something earlier. Add that together, that's about thirty two thousand plus whatever else. So ticket price ten bucks. Advertising poster. Fuck damn. <laughs> that gives you twenty thousand. Oh my god, that's a lot just in the first show. You're already spending like thirty thousand. Over thirty thousand, that's like thirty-seven thousand plus whatever was left. I think it's like four hundred dollars, but so you have a two hundred thousand dollar budget. So whatever. All right. So match types and rules. Showman time. Corner options. Barbed wire. Or for <clears throat> fluorescent lamps. I like fluorescent lamps. Weapons. Screw it. Put as many in there. Not all of it. Just six. Three count. No time limit. Just do it. Well, for the broadcasts for the first show, sure, we can do like a time limit I guess so it's not going on on and on for forever I just thought about it well just let me think mmm what would be cool is if we did like three matches and then we just put them all together for a, a main event match for the fourth match we do like a six man thing That'd be cool. That's that's an idea. That's an idea there. Let's see return for this one. Six weapons or something. Let's see six weapons. Oh, I'm forgetting the fluorescent lamps part. I'm not I don't really like how the bar wire works. It's kind of not as entertaining to me. Kind of dull. You just throw them into it and they just bounce off the barbed wire. Lamps, they just blow up. Let's see, ropes. 
rope breaks are on. Oh, we can't even do elimination, so we can't do that. So, fine, in our first show, whatever. We'll put the biggest of stars in the main event, though. Alright, so we're done with that. Return. We got posters up. Who will be our... We will have Justin. How much will he cost? Nothing. Good. From PWG. Uh, tile match. Give the fans something to go home with. We can have them. We can give them a. It's <laughs> not the World Heavyweight title, but for tag teams. Oh my goodness. Um, screw it. We'll crown our first heavyweight champion in our first show. Now, let's book it. Let's book some people. Wait, what? Hold on. Instead of that, we could do six man tag match to determine our. Then you don't go away with a great match. Go for the good. I'm not playing any of these matches. I'm just going to commentate on them. Ricochet. He can wear his blue. Okay. Ricochet. He has four tires. He can wear the silver. And then this is the evil. See what who holds on to the trios championships hangman page everybody's wrestling in a match before this so it's just like this is just a treat for the fans to enjoy Look at all these great attires that's so cool all right You know, it just he's he almost looks like a Power Ranger. But, um, give him the blue, or maybe the red, because he's supposed to be evil. So red look. Tessa Blanchard. It's gonna get bloody. She's gonna be a whole Candice LeRae in this match. Her match layer will be in gold, and this will be in white, I guess. Why is it? I don't know. We have three people. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have did this first. Delete the whole thing. No. Fuck. Okay. We're gonna come right back. Alright, so we're gonna do land my death matches. Yes. Now that's established that we can do that now. This is going to be a killer first show, and I'm ready for it. It's going to probably be a long one, too. Because they, they're going to go all out and put on what they can in the show. Um, fluorescent lamps. Six. I don't want to be biased. That's why I don't want to play the matches. Because I know I win. If I lose, I'm going to throw a little hissy fit. Let's see. We're going to have good. We're going to have Nick Mondo, an originator. Oh, he's B, right? So, for popularity is what I'm looking for. Popularity. So, we'll have the C competitor. Blue versus mm -hmm. um, let's see. Versus let's see, 
he can go against Pentagon to start us off, to give us a nice little match. No, not the main event. What, what, what is make, marking it the main event? How do I fix that? You know what? Let me just add them in and keep moving from there. So if we book them once, we can't book them again. That's what they're telling me. That's fine. So from evil, I think it's like you just press the square button and it, or you press something and it'll say, you'll say something. Why do they keep marking it like that? Like, I know I gotta do this other thing over here, advertising for the posters. And that got, I didn't even notice the audience forecast capacity, it goes up even more, the more you add to it. Um, 17,000, I don't want to overspend too much. My top limit is 50,000, I don't want to spend too much on this event. What if I did this? Wait a minute. That decreased it? Yeah, it decreased it. Okay. So, let's make sure we get Justin. No questions about that. What about social media? Plus 23. That's um, about over 40,000. That's not too bad. Don't want to overspend on the first show. So, there's that. Let's add one more match here. Singles. We can't do the championship. Well, we can't do a championship match. Still. Michael Elgin versus Adam Page. Not a bad match. that and then the add on Let's see what I think I feel like about to delete the entries but all right for the LDW heavyweight championship perfect what if I wanted to add in six man ah they don't allow me okay that's fine yep rookie middle and then main event all right so that's booked looks pretty good One thing though, that I want to do, because this is a recording, and I want to make the matches too long, do a 45 minute time limit. I would do 30 minutes, but it's, it can go on a long time, so we got to have a time limit, so it doesn't go on too long. Mm, weapons, that's good. This one as well. 45 minutes. Weapons. They had no weapons. See? I didn't even go through everything. Let's make sure we go through everything before we start the show. I didn't even do the four. See? I didn't even go through all this crap. This is crazy to me. We can do 60 minutes for the World Championship. It's probably not even going to take that long, really. Can I put the level? No. That's on them. Okay. Okay. Oh, one thing I want to do is Spinning Panther. One more run through. Change this to Spinning Panther. Not a big fan of the other thing. Fluorescent Lamps. Six. Return. Okay, that's done properly. Just gotta change that. And we are good. Anything else? Now it's just time to have the show. We're good to go. Um, anything else? Social media? Oh, referee changed itself. 
or me, I changed it by myself. So we're spending almost 50,000, but hey, it's over 40,000. There might be a big, big um, return from it. So our budget, we got to make more than our budget. So we got to have some type of return in some way. Because it ain't worth it to make the investment and you make less. And this is a big event, big ending and everything. So confirm the match card. We're, we're basically all in. Let's get this done. No, I pre me personally, I prefer to build up to the world title, but I think we should just go ahead and go all in and keep moving from there. Fire card has been set. Proceed to your run your event. All right. If you made this far in the broadcast, I appreciate you. But we're about to get to the event finally. Here we go. Let's do it. Finalize match management decisions for month to proceed to results. Let's go. Here we go. You're about to witness history in the making with the birth of a new promotion. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the inaugural event of LDW. Yeah, yeah. We plan to be the best in the world, and every one of you can help us to get there. January event. Standard event. Alright guys, again I appreciate you if you've made this far in our broadcast here today. We're about to do our first event. Here we go. Um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> what? Next match. Alright. LDW. First show, big one. I'm not playing any matches, I'm just commentating the whole time. Denzel Curry has a new song. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oof, disrespectful slap. From Pentagon Jr. Oh, sick Nick Mondo. What is Nick gonna do? Oh, takes a scoop slam, and now Pentagon has him. Now we could. I wish that the, we could edit the arena. But hey, screw it. Just enjoy what you have, you know? Oof. I sent on there. It's straight up back and forth. Nasty neck breaker there. Alright, keeps going for that arm. Taking out the arms, loosens the strength. Oh my god, beautiful move one. Ooh, kick out there. Alright, boys, just put on a great show. Make these fans want to come back and watch some more LDW. Nice sling blade there. Nick Mondo in Pentagon Jr. Nice Boston Crab here. Oof. Smack there. Takes him down. Boston Crab. It's only a question of when they're going to get to the weapons. They're just starting out slow, I guess. A little bit of a fight first. Ooh, nice neck breaker there. Got him. Nice wrestling action instead of just straight up hardcore hitting each other with weapons. We're not getting to that yet. Show off what they can do first. Because our promotion is not supposed to be hardcore. We're just a bunch of wrestling fans here. I'm against ultra violent wrestling myself. We're only doing this for entertainment purposes and to draw the fans in. But we are not that type of promotion. We are wrestling. We do storytelling. We work with from people that want to start from the bottom to work their way up and everything. Oh my goodness. Finally a connection to the fluorescent lamps. Oh, nasty powerbomb there. Five minutes has passed in the match here. Throws him into them again. Jesus Christ. Sick Nick Mondo. 
very well known for his ultraviolet matches. Very amazing wrestler in his own right. And as a great professional wrestler, he can take great bumps and still come back. Oh my god, here we go. Package pile driver. Is he down? Oh, he puts him back up. What's he gonna do? Oh, nice Lariat. Now what's he gonna do? Got him. Oh, knee to the gut there. Has him. Oof. Gut wrench suplex there. Into a piece of wood. One thing Pentagon needs to be concerned of is if Nick Mondo grabs one of those fluorescent lamp tubes and smashes it over his head. Once that lamp connects, you're going to be cut open. Oh my god. Rope break there. Good job, ref. Sick Nick Mondo's got him. Nick Mondo, former CZW Iron Man heavyweight, heavyweight champion, is known for his sec for his amazing ability in ultraviolet matches through the tournament of death one and two, one tournament of death two. In his own personal life, he's making his own documentary called The Trade. I just watched it last night. So that's what influenced me to add him to my roster today. Pentagon Jr., a former Lucha Underground World Champion, as well as TNA World, or not TNA, Impact Wrestling World Champion. My goodness, such, oh my god, such intensity in this match so far. Pitfall 1, 2, ooh. Sick Nick, he clearly did not like all these power bombs are being thrown into the tubes. I think that the the shark is smelling blood, and now he's he's going for the attack. But see, the reverse for these ultra violent guys, they smell their own blood in their ready to attack. It's not about the other person's blood, really. Oh, he's got him, and that's that. Pentagon picks up the first win of here in the evening. All right, congratulations, Pentagon Jr., for an adequate match. Moving on, guys. Me personally, I was I prefer more in the match, like more um, long, a lot, lot more time put in. But it's whatever. Moving on. Pentagon Jr. picks up the first one for LDW. Now here we go. Now we have an intergender match. Tessa Blanchard versus Ricochet. Here we go. Alright. Here we go. Second match of the evening. Time for a little bit of action here, guys. Ooh, nice suplex there. Ooh, elbow to the back of his head. Ricochet and Tessa actually are a former couple. They split up over over traveling, like like basically some type of traveling issues, and they just they just kind of became distant. So is that? I, I saw somewhere that it didn't end ugly. It just kind of like let things go. And now Ricochet is with Casey Catanzaro, and um. Tessa's with some Hispanic dude. I don't know his name really. He's a wrestler as well. Oh my god, just throws Tessa right in. There's definitely a lot of heat between these two though as they go into this match. Gotta be a lot of awkward tension backstage between these two when the two were signed to LDW. Sure, they ended their relationship on good terms, but hey, you know, there's still that awkwardness and a lot of intensity. A little bit of anger. Oh my god, I thought Ricochet was going to go out there. Now, just something to know about this barbed wire boards on the outside. They are rigged with bombs, so if someone lands on them, it will explode and they will be completely bloodied up from it. Throws her right into it again. Jesus. Nice hip toss there. Attacking. Oh! This with a back kick. Very nice from Ricochet there. The wrestlers we sign here to LEW, they are here to fight. It's not all about the weapons around the ring. There is more about the fight in the wrestlers. 
You know, there's that thing where don't hit a girl, but she wants him to hit her. She wants a fight. She's not afraid to fight a guy. And he's not afraid, afraid to fight a girl. Let's go. We're not going to sit here and diversify. We are equal here. Tessa could one day be the LDW World Champion. It's all a possibility. I like how no one's grabbing weapons here. It's all for show and to gain attention. But you see the quality of the wrestling match here on our first show for LDW. Throws her in. Throws her. Oh, nice flying like lariat there. Very nice. Hurricane Rana. I like he was about to kick her outside the ring, but she got back up just in time. Oh my goodness, that kick is so devastating. Oh. Oh, power bomb there into a pinfall kick out. Or too close to the ropes there. Oh. Nice butterfly suplex pinfall one. Only gets a one count. Looks like these two are going to be this. Oh, throws Ricochet in. And he is busted wide open. Seems like these two are going to be... The... Oh. 100% rating out of the show. The five star. The showstoppers of the evening. Ricochet is truly blayed up here. Doc the doctors may need to check on him. Although this is not PG product. We're not going to stop in the middle of the match to check on him. He's just got to wait until after the match to go to the doctors. Because he's going to have to fight for his life in this match. Oh. Nasty slap. These two are fighting. This is a fight. This is not just a wrestling match. It's a fight. There's so much tension between these two. Now they can settle it all here. No disqualifications. Just one man or woman stands in victory oh my god the slap oh now a kick to the back of the head oh my goodness again with that spinning back kick there here he comes off the ropes oh another kick to the back of the head Tessa, she is shook. You can see it, and just throws them right in again. I would hate for one of them to hit that barbed wire, but one of them are going to hit that barbed wire at some point. I already can see it happening. Oh my god. Ricochet with that kick again. Oh, beautiful. The athleticism of Ricochet misses it there. And now throws Tessa out. Oh my god. What did I say? One of them is going to go out. Tessa is all bloodied up. Oh, nasty, nasty code breaker there. Drags him into the middle. We're going to say back up already. Oh, you think by now she calculate that move and counter it, but she can't. Oh, flying lariat. Has Ricochet down. What's she going to do? Suplex. Oh, he gets out of it. They are going back and forth here. Both both individuals are bloodied up, battered, bruised. You can see the welts and all the blood pouring all around, around the ring. This is a fight. This is LDW, ladies and gentlemen, back and forth. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, she is down and she gets back up before Ricochet. That nasty elbow. Neckbreaker there. As the only female on our roster, she has got a lot to prove from her standpoint for oh for women's wrestling and to not be diversified and treated unequally here. Let's see if she can defeat Ricochet here in this match. Look at the blood just pouring all over the ring. Ricochet spins out of that again. 
She's got him. And he does it again. My goodness. Ricochet is like watching a, a comic book watching him wrestling. Or, or, you know, reading a comic book, but whatever. Elbow there. Tessa's got him. Elbow to the back. Oh! Double arm DDT. Pinfall here. One, two, three. Oh! Kicks out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Steals his move. Disrespect to Ricochet. Right then, there. Power slam takes her down. He is upset over that. Takes him down. Back and forth action here between these two. My goodness. Oh! Gut check there by Ricochet. Now the first weapon is picked up. Will he hit her with it? Nope. She doesn't allow it, but a disrespectful slap again. Now here in LEW, we do not condone the violence over women, but this is equal. They are going at it, guys. Oh! Gut check once again. They're both tired. They've lost so much blood. So much sweat, blood, and tears showing in this ring. They're going at it, guys. Oh my goodness. It's back and forth. No dull moments at all in this matchup. This is truly the showstopper. The only thing I have to say is I hope the heavyweight championship match can follow this after this. Oh my goodness. Like, because if I was any other wrestler, I would not want to follow this match. This is an instant classic. Oh my god, Hurricane Rana. And he runs right into the light too. He must have tripped on that blood. You see that pool of blood? He tripped over it and slammed his head right into the light tube. And that throws him right into the board. <clears throat> Over here, losing my voice. This is amazing. Now, head scissors. Will he tap? Tessa Blanchard has tapped out Ricochet here. Congratulations, Tessa. My goodness. A fantastic match here, folks. Can't wait for our main event of the evening. Which is up next. The fans loved it. I loved it. Great ending. Let's move on. Let's move on from here. All right, guys, main event of the evening. Definitely, our ratings went up from that. Let's have a great main event match. Michael Elgin, Hangman Adam Page for the heavyweight title. Here we go. All right. Tiles on the line. Elgin. Unbreakable Michael Elgin versus Hangman Page. It just throws him right in off the bat into the light tube. He has got him. Throws him in. Here comes Hangman Page. Oh, elbow to the face. A chop from Elgin. Elbow right to the face. Hey man, Page. Trying to take the advantage here. Definitely has the speed advantage against Elgin now. Just twisting the arm. That drop kick did nothing to him. Did you see that? It connected and everything, and it still made didn't make the big man go down. This oh my god. Elgin, oh my goodness. He is down after that. Throws him in. Oh. Hangman Page. Has got him. Oh, 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 oh. Nice deadlifting German suplex there from Elgin. Now falls up with this elbow, running elbow there to counter Hangman Page. Here comes Elgin. He's got him. Oh, 
a Samoan drop right on the light tube. It didn't even break. Now into a shooting, standing shooting star, press the pin and doesn't get it. Michael Elgin throws him in. Oh, misses that elbow. Michael Elgin coming back here. Doesn't get it. Oh, misses the clothesline. Takes him down. Elgin's got the advantage into a Boston Crab on the ropes, though. Ref's got to break it up. They're going back and forth. Oof. My goodness. Such a fast start. But you know these men are going to give it their all to be the champion by the end. One kick out there. Oh my goodness. Hurricane Rana. Hangman Page. Does not finish it off. Oh. Throws him. All right, Elgin gets out the way of that clothesline. DDT from Page to Elgin. Runs in. Here he comes. Oh, a stiff clothesline there. Page has got him. Oh, Elgin throws him off. Elgin trying to retain momentum here. He has got him. He has got him, guys. Nasty slap there. Smash, smash mouth style there. This is what you define as stiff wrestling. Oh my god. One, two. Oh, kick out. I thought that was it. Oh, another cl stiff clothesline. Takes out the big man. One, that can't be it. Two. Oh, Elgin with the surprise there. Elgin trying to come back here. Big man goes in. Big Mike. Oh, my God. Send time. Oh, Hangman Page with the low blow. Still no disqualifications in this match. Throws Elgin in. Another Samoan drop. Once again, as I said during the Tessa versus Ricochet match. If one of the men ends up outside the ring and hits that barbed wire, they will endure that explosion that will just leave their body in a crimson mask. Now I hate that, hate that to, for that to happen to one of these men. It would be exciting, but hey, I hate that for that to happen to one of them. We don't want any injuries on our first show, especially for the future world champion. And he throws them out. Oh my God. Are you okay, Hangman? Oh my God. Look at the face. The blood. What did I say? The crimson mask there. Stiff clothesline from Hangman. That's like that just woke him up. Pinfall here. One, two. Oh, a kick out from Michael Ogin. Here comes Hangman Page. Another stiff clothesline there. Elgin, you should take advantage of what you just did to him. Elbows. And like I just said. Here comes Elgin, the former IWGP Air Continental champion. Suplex there. Throws him in. Oh, nice. Samoan drop there. As I, I just remember that I haven't stated the time limits. This is a 60 minute time limit match. Oh my god. One. Two kick out from Elgin. The fact that he kicks out at two so easily. Deadlifting German to the big man. Two. Three. Oh my god. Hangman Page is our first LDW world champion. Congratulations. My goodness. Fantastic, fantastic show. Fantastic win from Adam Page. Wow. Awesome. Just simply awesome. New champion crown. Congratulations to Hangman Page. Our first LDW world champion. Alright guys. So now I'm going to turn off my little commentary voice. When it comes to a show. I mean. I just realized like all the heels won the show. That sucks. <laughs> 
Like none of the baby faces won. All the heels win. That's crazy to me. Fantastic show. Slow start. Got way better with the Tesla versus Ricochet match. Elgin and Paige, pretty good match. I wish there was more action. Like, ah, it's it's cool though. It's cool. Still good. Moving on. End the event here. 82% card rating. I guess when we were at like 80, 88% or something at one point. I guess the last match didn't kill, didn't do as great. Uh, it's whatever. Still good show. 80%, 82%. Okay. B, there's a B rating there. The attendance capacity, 16,000. Or no, 1,612. That makes it sound better. That sound like Cody Rose when it comes to AEW. Went from 12,000 to 20,000. Let's round it. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, really good. When it went over 50% when it comes to attendance capacity. Capacity was 3,000. And we went over the half. Like We got over half. So, that's, a, that's an accomplishment. Moving on. Adam of LDW won the LDW Heavyweight Belt. To become the new champion. Yeah, yeah. Failure. The seats were barren tonight. Consider the venue size and ticket prices. Well, guess what? Whoops. <laughs> I mean, I think... Oh, I should have chose a gymnasium. Gymnasium would have been smaller and we would have retained more. I mean... The seats were barren tonight. I guess. We still did fine. I'm not going to make this a negative thing and feel bad. I don't feel... I'm not a failure. Was, we won something there. How come they get to have custom rings and stuff? Ain't this some crap? That's weird. I, I gotta get the, the default. Well, they get customs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on. So, so we spent sixteen thousand. Income was twenty four thousand. So we made good money. We made great money. I can't really read that other thing. I think it says expenses were okay. So I was wait what? Ah, it's like I, mm. oh, I have my glasses on. Forty thousand six hundred was our expenses. Our income was twenty four thousand, but our budget for the show was sixteen. 1044 I'm guessing so we made money we made good money so it was smart to plan like that we still made money by the end we started out at 200,000 okay 200,000 and in the end we have a hundred a hundred eighty three thousand that sounds like a pretty good win there that's a good budget so we're moving on from there detailed informations t-shirts see see you got to connect everything to everything so makes sense I don't even have to read all that we made good money off of the social media we made good money off the t-shirts and the event as a whole so that's that moving on this month you have a singles tournament scheduled with KOG why do they get nice stuff but I had to work with the defaults I like nice th <laughs> well they have a lisp I like nice things <laughs> Unless I'm missing something in there. Like, if I could change the ring. I don't think I saw that anywhere. You have a singles tournament scheduled with DFW. Okay. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> Alright, guys. We're going to move on. Okay. The rest of us participating in a charity event. The fans love seeing this side of them. Okay. Alright, so this is where we're going to start the broadcast today. Great first show. Thanks for watching. Moving on.